Welcome back to the Nation Network, everyone. It is time for the Impact Zone. The world champion will be in action later tonight. We're also going to see the women, the knockouts here of Impact Wrestling. All that and plenty more coming your way live. This is Impact Zone Wrestling. All right, fans, ready to kick things off here with the knockouts entering the ring area at this time. Giselle Shaw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Philippines. Well, one thing we know about Giselle Shaw that she has proven time and time again she has been getting better each and every week out here once entering the impact zone. Gonna have an opportunity to really prove how much she has gained over the past several months. She's been in the ring with some of the best there are. She's been in there with Deanna Perazzo. She's been in there with Chelsea Green. She has gone head to head with Mickey James and so many more. You can only get better when you're going up against that level of talent. And from the North Pole, the Queen L. D. Frost. Lady Frost making her way down the aisle. Well, it's definitely her time of the year, I would have to say, because wherever she seems to be, she is bringing the cold with her. No doubt about it, we are setting records across the nation right now. Referee calls for the bell action underway as these two lock up in the middle of the ring. We talk about the knockouts division. Everybody wants to be number one, but only one can. But winning matches like this is definitely a way to move up the ladder. Well, victories definitely make a difference, no doubt about it. The fans will definitely get behind and support you when you have a winning streak, depending on how you get that winning streak. Yeah, Giselle Shaw definitely is not above taking some shortcuts. She has proven that time and time again. Snapping the head and the neck. Lady Frost now going to work on Giselle. Shot to the back. All the way up to the top rope. Now Lady Frost comes down with a leg right to the back of the head and the neck. That could be it, springboard. Look at this, hooks the leg, it could be over. There's one, there's two, and it is, oh my God, a shoulder came up. I have no idea where she got that from, but Lady Frost just 
sign the deal. I mean, talk about putting your stamp of approval. That just came notarized. Talk about airmail. Snow not the only thing coming from out of the sky tonight. Look at here, she goes again, but this time missing the target. It looked like her foot slipped on the middle rope. Well, it definitely threw her aim off one way or another because she was not even close. And now Giselle Shaw has a great opportunity to try and make up some ground in this match. Spinning back kick right to the midsection and now goes for the cover again, but I doubt that's gonna be enough. Shaw able to kick out the back door. Man, Lady Frost, we haven't seen a lot of her lately, but... Oh, nice move right there. The Spanish fly hook and a leg. Will that be enough? Shoulder off the canvas. Both of these ladies really bringing their A game here tonight, giving each other all they got. World Championships may or may not be on the line in a match, but when you talk about right now the Knockouts champion, you're looking at Jordan Grace. And if you want an opportunity to go up against Jordan Grace, then this is a match you have to have a win on. She floats over for the cover. Got a one count only out of Lady Frost. And I'll tell you what, either of these ladies going up against Jordan Grace would be a hell of a match. Oh, there it is. She's got the cross face on. We've seen her win a lot of matches with this one. Referee's asking if she wants to give it up. Lady Frost may be thawing out. Not quite done yet. She gets out of the... The trap uh, had that cross face on there. She was in a whole lot of trouble for that one, but she manages to get out just in the nick of time. Lady Frost trying to get the momentum once again, head first into the corner. And now she's got Shaw dazed in the corner, but Shaw with an elbow right across the face. Look at those chops lighting up the chest. And now the butterfly suplex takes her over. Lady Frost in trouble. Well, Giselle Shaw right now realizes that she may be close enough to start going for the victory. Going to hook the leg and we'll see if that's enough. She's got one, she's got two, she got her. Big win for Giselle Shaw. Well, I've got to say, I wasn't really sure that she had done enough damage to get the victory at that point in the match, but hey, apparently she did. Nice move right there by Giselle Shaw. That Spanish fly turned her inside out with it. There's another reverse angle. What an unbelievable matchup. And there's the butterfly suplex, and that's all it took. Well, you say that's all it took. You've got those two arms both being tied together, hence the butterfly. When you come down off of that suplex, there really is no protection. It's just neck, shoulders, and head hitting the canvas. Big win indeed for Giselle Shaw here tonight, kicking things off in the impact zone. We'll be back with more in just a moment. This is the three-time Impact Wrestling X Division Champion, the newest member of Bullet Club. I am the inevitable Ace Austin. And right now I want you to check out something on YouTube for me. If you're looking for some wrestling content on YouTube, go ahead and head over to the Nation Network. All right, they got some old school, they got some new school, and I'm willing to bet, I'm willing to bet, chances are they've got something that you'll like, and that, is inevitable. The Nation Network brings you the stars of today's WWE roster in alternative storylines. 
whether you like it raw or prefer to be smacked down, or even check out tomorrow's legends today with NXT. We have them all right here on the Nation Network. Welcome back, wrestling fans. More Impact Zone coming your way here live on the Nation Network. Make sure you're hitting that like button. Make sure you're subscribing to get all of the wrestling action. The this is a non-title matchup. Scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 178 pounds. The Impact Champion, Mike Bailey. Speedball Mike Bailey has been unbelievable since capturing the Impact X Division Championship, and he's showing no signs of giving it up anytime soon. Indeed, Speedball has proven time and time again that he is a tremendous in-ring competitor. He has put on classic matches each and every time he gets in the ring. We've seen him go up against the likes of Tarus. We have seen him go up against Ace Austin. We have seen him go up against just about every name that's on the Impact roster. And I'll tell you what, he can get a great match out of everybody. But he is the X Division Champion and has no intention of giving that title away. Title not on the line in this match here tonight. How does that affect a champion in a match? Well, in my opinion, it allows him to take some opportunities and some chances to do things that maybe you wouldn't do normally if the title were on the line. Weighing in at 237 pounds. Well, he's gonna be giving up a lot of size and strength in this one to Steve Macklin, the former Marine. Macklin is a gritty, down and dirty, hard-nosed wrestler. He is an old school soul, many people would say. Well, definitely you could say he's cut from the similar cloth of a dirty Dick Slater or perhaps even a Dick Murdoch. Hard-hitting. Asks for nothing, takes it and whatever he wants. And tonight, Speedball Mike Bailey might have a little bit more than he's used to. Now, generally speaking, Macklin would not be the guy that would be going up and challenging for the X Division Championship. It's not about weight limits, it's about no limits, but Macklin is not a risk taker. He is a grappler, he is a grinder in that ring. Yeah, if you want a street fight, then you go to somebody like Macklin. Macklin can give you a street fight. He can give you a wrestling match. He can put on a clinic if he wanted to, but he really does like to bend those rules every chance he gets, it appears. Bailey coming off the top rope, connecting with a coup de gras. Drives the knee into the side of the head of Steve Macklin. And now you have to start to wonder, the speed has really overcome Macklin's size and strength. Yeah, he's caught him with a bunch of strike kicks and they're really taking their toll early on. Macklin has really been doing a good job climbing the ladder here in Impact Wrestling. Many people feel that he may be on the short list to go up against Josh Alexander, but boy, losing a match tonight against Speedball that might set him back a little bit. Well, think about the history of professional sports and what we've seen over the many, many years. Look at the world of professional boxing as an example. Here goes the cover. Two count on Bailey. As I was starting to say, in professional boxing, you could be the number one contender, and then you take on a match against the number 13 man who has a hell of a night, and the next thing you know, you're not getting the big paycheck after all. 
Two count again, and boy, I'll tell you, Bailey had to dig deep inside to kick out on that one, and Macklin stretching out the arm. Reminder, ladies and gentlemen, our main event coming up next, it is going to be the World Heavyweight Champion in a non-title match. As Speedball once again off the top rope, connecting with a coup de grace. Will that be enough? Will Macklin be able to kick out? He does. Oh, going all the way up to the top. Ultimate weapon connects. Hooks a leg and gets three. Mike Bailey continues his winning ways. Well, it's exactly what I mentioned early on. That is a loss that Steve Macklin really could not afford to pull off. He needed this win to keep his momentum going now. Hard to say, he may not get the opportunity to go after the world champion that he was expecting. Gotta be frustrating if you're Steve Macklin. Here is your winner, Mike Bailey. The world is his oyster, Mike Bailey just keeps getting better. We'll be back with our main event. Stay with us, fans. For over 15 years, the Nation Network has brought you the greatest wrestling action anywhere. of the past, the present, and the future. And now, with 2K22, we take the next step together as a nation. What you gonna do, man, when the Nation Network runs wild on you? And it is time for our main event. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the edge of reality. Weighing in at 215 pounds. Making his impact debut. We haven't seen him here on the Nation Network in a long time. It's the return of Delirious. Well, this gentleman, and I'll tell you what, he's definitely cut from a different cloth, was a mainstay in Ring of Honor now a free agent deciding to come here and ply his craft. And his opponent from Canada, weighing in at 262 pounds, the Impact World Champion, Josh Alexander. Josh Alexander is the Impact World Heavyweight Champion as he heads down the aisle. A date with destiny, you might say, going up against Delirious, and Delirious is a seasoned veteran, to say the least. Well, not only that, but when you talk about death-defying, we talked about it with Speedball Mike Bailey a little bit earlier on. Look at this. They lock up right away. Alexander not sure what to make of Delirious. He's got a reputation that precedes him. No two ways about it. And now Alexander Irish whips him to the ropes. Back out front, caught up in the air. Nice variation on the arm drag. 
Irish whip shoots him into the ropes. Back out front he comes. Went for a slam, it looked like, but they didn't make the time. Rhythm was a little bit off there by Josh Alexander, and he ended up getting caught head to head. There's a one count indeed, and now look at this Alexander back up on his feet. Went for the cross body block. Nice move right there by Delirious to avoid the contact. Shot to the face. And now Delirious on the top rope. The champion is down. Delirious gonna pick his shot right here. Got caught. Oh, into a power bomb. Josh Alexander now, one-legged monkey flip, takes him around. Alexander now ready for action. Again, tilt a whirl, arm drag. What a drop kick by the champion. That one connected right with the head of Delirious who is definitely feeling some cobwebs right there. They collide again in the middle of the ring and Alexander with the cross chop takes him down. Elbow to the back. The walking weapon is in complete control of this one. Spinning back kick right to the midsection. Oh, look at that, brought up the knees just to take away the momentum before it even gets begun. Delirious managing to strike with a back elbow. There's the Irish whip and the champion into the turnbuckle and now Delirious following him in. Has him tied upside down, the tree of woe. Oh, Alexander gets out of trouble and comes up with another chop block. Delirious belly to back, no, sit out power bomb. Thought he might have gone right there for the hook of the leg and the cover didn't do it. Josh Alexander now on the champion with a cradle suplex, that fisherman hook. What the heck, what is going on here? That's Bully Ray! Bully Ray making an appearance. We saw what he did to the members of Aces and Eights recently. His shoulders are down. And Josh Alexander just kicking out. Oh my goodness. The distraction almost cost him the champion the match. What a nice head scissor. Well, I'll tell you what, it's hard to blame Josh Alexander when you see Bully Ray coming down the ringside like he did. You can never be 100% sure what he's going to do. One thing you can be sure of, it's not gonna be good. Josh Alexander is waiting on Delirious to regain his feet. He does. Oh, nice ankle sweep right there. Oh, he's going to go for the ankle lock. Too close to the ropes. And now Josh Alexander thinks he's got him right where he wants him, and perhaps he does. The C4 doesn't connect. Oh, it sure does. Hooks the leg. Referee's in position. And Josh Alexander gets the victory. Well, we've got to go back and talk about what happened to this one earlier on, though. Josh Alexander was on his way to a victory when Bully Ray came down to ringside. There you see the distraction almost costing the champion the match.
There's a C4. You don't get up from this one. Josh Alexander putting away Delirious in his impact return. Here is your winner, Josh Alexander. What the heck is going on with Bully Ray? Fans, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time for Impact Wrestling.